Hello, oh, this is easy, and this is going to be a little script I'm going to show you, and you will be able to download it and try it, and it will be below the video as a link. Um, I have placed mine in a light box, and it's called Mirror and Weld. Okay, it's in the project folder. As you can see, I clicked here, and the name's down here where you can see where it's located at. So if I double click this, up here nothing has happened, but it is actually down here. Uh, you'll see two buttons and you'll need to drag up just a little bit to see all the buttons here. And I'm going to go ahead and go to Lightbox, and go to Tools, and the Demo Head. Now when I drag in the Demo Head, and I drag it in, this is the way it's facing towards me. So this automatically tells me that this is facing towards me and I have a left side and right side. Certain meshes will not do this, but in this case, this is working. I'm going to draw the symmetry here. And this also has subdivision levels. Alright, now I want to edit a side here. And uh, just stick with me here because this is going to get good because I'm going to do some other stuff or some thickness and all kinds of stuff. I'm going to turn my draw size down and I want to, let's say I was editing the mesh on this side here and um, I don't like that, okay? Let's say somewhere later I don't like that. Well, what side do I want to keep, alright? Well, the right side is not the side I want to keep because that's the side that I drew on. I want to keep the left side so we'll press left then we'll have something like this then it brings back everything back to normal well in the geometry it does kill the subdivision levels in some cases not all cases you can reconstruct the subdivision levels okay so nothing's written in stone here that everything's going to work perfectly all right let's say i was to draw on the right side here and somewhere later down the line i'm like hey i kind of like that which I don't really but I'm gonna keep the right side of which I just drew on then we get something like this and we get the left side and right side then we can reconstruct this all right we're gonna move into the next step here and I will be pausing the video just to kind of speed things up Okay, in this part I want to edit the mesh and I want to add thickness using the brush Z Modeler. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to cube mesh in all polygons. Alright, I can see both sides of the mesh is because I got the display property on and double. Alright, just to let you know when it's all done and you add thickness, you may need to turn double off and if it looks funny, then flip the polygons then it should fix it so how do I add thickness is I'm going to select over face here and drag down till it snaps and that's how I can add thickness All right control Z that or you can drag from the inner mesh and drag out till it snaps sometimes you gotta just do a little extra dragging so that's one way of adding thickness Actually, I'll just show you right here. So, I'm just snap this here. Uh, turn the double off. See, it looks a little funny. Then we'll flip that. And everything comes back to normal. Alright, let's go ahead and go into the next step. Okay, I want to edit this mesh. Alright, keep in mind we got left, right, top, and bottom. The orange over here, let me turn perspective off. Orange on the left hand side is for the left button. Orange on the right is for the right button. The top button is this top blue here. And the bottom button is for the bottom here. Alright, don't get, get confused since the top here is split twice. That this is the left side because it's not. Um, this whole top row is the top. This whole row is the bottom. Okay. And I'll show you how to fix mistake and just in case you screw up. So let's say I want to put a loop right here, okay? All right, now if I was to add thickness here, and I'll show you what will happen, drag down, 
I'll get this. Okay, you can see this over here is trying to connect over here. Control Z that. This is because this needs to be uniform from this side over to this side. What side did I edit? Remember, this was the left side. So what do I want to press? Is the left button. All right. It's going to frame the mesh ups here, so I'll have to scoot it back. Then, when I drag down, then you'll see that it, it actually connects to the other side and removes them when they uh, fuse together. And if I want to edit the top of the mesh, all right, and I can edit here, and let's say over here. What did I edit? I edit the top of the mesh, all right? Um, we want to edit the top, then press the top right here. Then everything should work to normal when I add my thickness. Let's say I'm going to show you, just in case you screw up. All right, let's say I'm going to edit the top, all right? In most cases, somebody will think this is the left side and edit here and say, oops, I'm going to edit and press the left button, which actually is incorrect. So if I accidentally press the left one here, all right, let's take a look at the mesh here. So, well, let me just go ahead and drag and show you this is not going to work. What was edited? It was the top, okay? So all we got to do is come over here and press top. And... Now it's uniform from the top to the bottom. Then when I try to add thickness, then I'll have something like this. Um, the thing that you might not want to do is when you are editing, the, let's say, just the top. All right, then you'd want to go down and press the top. Do it in stages. In other words, if you do the top, then try doing the side at the same time. Let's say you did the top, then you to the left well and you go ahead and try pressing this here and it could work and then, then again it might not work all right so keep that in mind so I'd say the best thing to do well it's all up to you whatever you want to do is do them in stages so edit the side here the left side and when you're done don't edit any other side and press left then let's we'll see what the next step. Then we'll go to the top and just move on down the line here. When I pause the video. We'll just turn all this Z modeler stuff back down like I had it. Um, okay, we're going to go into this auto right here. Let's say you have a mesh and you kind of edited it somewhere and you just got a lot of stuff going on. Okay, and if you try to go ahead and add thickness, you're just going to have a whopping mess here and it's not going to work. Well, you can press auto. All right, what this does is basically like these buttons here. It'll mirror it from left to right automatically from top to bottom. Uh, the extra step this will do, though, it will also do front to back, okay? Remember where these edges are at, and they will disappear in a second, and I'll show you why that happens, and I'll show you how to fix that if you do want to edit it. All right, we'll press auto. All right, so it's kind of like a one-click uh, fix here. That way, if I do want to add thickness, then I can do it like this. All right, control Z that. Now, if I want to edit the mesh, there's only two spots, actually. If I edit it right here, anywhere, anywhere but the top left and the left side top, these lines will not stay, or the edges. Let me just show you. This edge will be gone. So where can we edit this so everything sticks in case we do want to edit it? There's two spots, okay? I'm going to bring this up here all right let's turn the floor on here I don't know if you can see this in a video but I got the cross here okay this is divides the mesh um, in between the top and bottom left and right the errors that we can edit and everything to stick is from here I'm gonna put an edge here we can do it all the way to the halfway mark on the top all the way to the corner point over here and we can edit that and it will stay control Z that and one more spot would be over here we can do it all the way to this point here 
all the way to the halfway point on the left hand side. Alright, control Z that. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and edit this mesh. I want to go ahead and edit a little one here. And I'm going to edit right here. So this is going to do it automatically all the way around. So we should see each corner have these two edges close to it. So we're going to press auto. And give it a second. And we'll probably get this up here. So this will happen probably one time. Press OK here. And when it's done, you can see I have my edges that I altered here. And they are over on the right side, the bottom, right, and left bottom. And they're all the way around it. And if I want to add my thickness to the Q mesh and make all the polygons, then everything should work. Like I said, should work. Okay, the next step I'm going to be using is set thickness here. This is a slider. And we're going to go over this button load here. On the box that I used earlier, I know um, it doesn't work very well with this thickness because uh, certain items or objects don't work the way that you might think they want to or should. But anyway, the this way, this is an alternative way to add thickness. If this don't work here, if the slider don't work, then for thickness, then go back to the Z modeler. So it's like vice versa. If one way don't work, try another way. So what we're going to do, we're going to add thickness. Okay, I'm going to hide part of this mesh here. See if I can get it kind of straight here. All right. When I move this slider here, all right, you can move it to the right this way add thickness to the outer shell or move it to the negative for the inner shell as soon as I move this slider this is automatically going to save this tool okay so let's move it just a little bit and then we get something like this as you can see here we have a little bit of thickness but not a whole lot all right since this had saved it since I moved the slider I don't actually want to move the slider again because um, it'll resave this here. Okay, I want more thickness, so I want to redo this. So basically, off all we need to do is press load, and it's going to load the last mesh that was saved. So I'll be able to try it again. Well, I didn't like that thickness. Let's just go all the way up. Then we get thickness like this. All right. So this is a bit um, kind of a quick way to load the mesh without having to, you know, manually come up here and, and load it. All right, so let's move it here. All right, we get something like that. Now, if I move this slider again, it's going to uh, save it right here. And I might act a little bit more funnier and do some different kind of uh, thickness here. That's just something up to you if you want to do it, because now when I load it, I don't get my original mesh, I get the double one. Okay, I'm gonna go into the next step here why you would use the negative and the positive on a thickness. Let's go to light box. Tools. And we get this right here. And you can see we got a shell here and we got uh, subdivision levels. So let's go ahead. If we move it to the right, we get this. It's going to be bloated up because it's got an outer shell here. Don't like that, so let's load the original one here. It will kill the subdivision levels. In some cases, you can reconstruct it. So I'm just going to move this a tiny bit to, let's say, 20. Right. Then we have this all right thickness down here and I do notice if you look right here it's trying to the inner mesh is trying to come through all right there's all kinds of ways that you can um, fix that control shift click until we get this screwed up mess I'm gonna try smoothing that back so we can't see that and bring everything back now um, the ears are a little screwed up I can fix that later but this is just kind of one way that you can kind of do that because the more you add thickness, um, the more it's probably going to screw it up. I'll just show you and just kind of blow it up and show you how to fix it.
All right, if I go all the way to negative, all right, I'm going to get this. All right. I got my thickness down the bottom, but I don't like that. All right, let's control shift click and click again. Here's our messed up mesh right here. Let's go ahead and hide that and invert that. And let's bring that. Let me control the other again. Let's kind of bring that back. It's kind of tricky, so we get something like this. All right, something you got to mess with. So I basically got this mesh here. Control Z that. All right, I removed everything that was sticking out. Now when I get done, I can come up here and make poly, poly mesh 3D. Uh, you can see the inner mesh has got a hole in here, and I really don't need all that geometry because all it is is doubling up. Then you know I can basically go to the geometry and modify topology, and we'll just close the hole here. And then we get something like this, and we get our thickness like that. I loaded up the. Uh, another mesh here and uh, I'm gonna set my thickness right here and I'm just gonna blast it up and you get something like that there's all kinds of stuff that you can do with this um, like relax and if you want to do certain things with this all right that's all up to you if you want to do that let's load the original one back in some cases this will still work with the Z modeler and with Z modeler, it's probably best to have something that has little polygons. So if I was to select them here and drag out, I will be able to make my thickness like this for the inner mesh. All right. Control Z that, or come on the outside, drag face, and we get something like this. As you can see, if I right click over here, I still have the cube mesh and all the polygons. And you can just pretty much do anything that you want.